Are you still watching Vlad videos on a VR headset? Because with Photon VR's 2D to 3D conversion, you can now pretty much make any video 3D. And it's nothing gimmicky. It actually works pretty well. The quality is awesome. It has depth and it has also responsive lighting that will moon up your room. So hit subscribe, like the video, let's get to it. All right, so what is Photon VR? Well, it's a free Quest 3 app that turns your flat videos into immersive 3D experiences. Not just a screen floating in front of you, actual spatial depth, reactive lighting, and that you're in it feeling. It has powerful AI that will convert your video into a spatial one, giving the illusion of space between foreground and background. You don't just see the video, you feel the distance between the objects. You can scroll through a growing feed of spatial content or upload your own videos and watch them come to life. And since it runs natively on Quest 3, there's no site loading or complicated installs. Just download it from the Quest Store and you're in. Think of it like a TikTok style feed, but in full 3D. It is still early, sure, but what it does, it's kind of wild. So let's talk about that. Does it actually feel 3D? Now here's the part I was skeptical about too. Does it actually feel 3D? And the short answer is yes. The effect is especially noticeable in footage with motion or strong foreground background contrast. So things like faces, trees, arc texture, anything with depth gets enhanced. Load up a good clip like a forest, a city street or something with depth. I have just simply recorded myself doing a little crazy. Suddenly it's like you're in the scene. The space around the video glows and reacts to what you're watching. And there's real depth. It's not perfect, but it hits harder than I expected. Some clips are straight up mind blowing. Others, a little less, but it depends on the footage. But when it works, it really works. And the crazy part is, it's doing all of this with just your normal 2D video. So how does it pull it off? Let me show you how the conversion actually works. Okay, here's the part that really sold me because you don't need any actual gear to make this work. Just head to Photon VR's site, I've included a link in the description. Upload a regular 2D video. It can be something off your phone, a clip you downloaded, just whatever. And the app handles the spatial magic. No editing, no settings, no technical hoops. It just converts it and apps depth automatically. Then when you open the app on your Quest, although it can take some time for it to upload, your video's there ready to watch in full spatial 3D. But when it's there, you will be amazed. You can also keep it private or toss it on your public feed so others can check it out too. And because it's all web-based, you don't need to install anything on your computer. Just drag and drop and it's ready to convert. Now it's not only about converting your own videos. There's a whole feed of spatial content uploaded by other users that you can explore. So you've uploaded your first video, cool. But now what? This is where Photon VR gets interesting. There's a full feed of spatial videos from other users. You just open the app and start scrolling. Left to right, not up and down like TikTok. And each video loads up in 3D. And I actually found that the horizontal swipe interface works better in VR than vertical scrolling. It just feels a bit more natural. And the transitions between videos are pretty smooth. Some are cinematic, some are peaceful landscapes, some are just random moments. And they even got some movie and anime clips, although copyright, I cannot show you that. But they all feel different and spatial. You can like them, follow creators, even save your favorites for later. And the more you scroll, the more you realize this could actually be a whole new kind of content platform. It's still in the early stages, but you can see the direction they're heading. Kind of like the early days of YouTube, but spatial. And to make it even more immersive, we got some really cool dynamic lighting. When a spatial video plays, the edges glow based on what's on screen. The pass to around the video dims or brightens with the scene. 
It's not just visual decoration, it actually helps focus your attention and adds atmosphere to whatever you're watching. It's subtle, but it makes everything feel more alive. Your environment ambient color also changes with the scene, which gives another immersive layer. And because the pointer doesn't cross over the screen, the immersion holds. You're just watching inside it. It feels designed for passive viewing, like leaning back in a VR movie theater, but without the black void. You still feel connected to your space. It's not full room skill VR or anything, but for sitting back and just being in a moment, it definitely nails that vibe. And for a free app, the atmosphere is actually surprisingly well dialed in. Now, of course, it's not perfect. So let's talk next about what is missing and where this thing can go next. Okay, let's not pretend it's flawless. The app is still kind of bare bones. So you don't have hand tracking, you don't have playlists, it has a simple UI, it's just the basics. You can't sort videos by category or popularity yet, and you can't search. It's all about scrolling for now, which is fine, but it could get overwhelming as the feed grows. Sometimes the conversion is a little hit or miss, depending on the video. Some clips pop in 3D, others feel kind of flat. And yeah, the feed is isn't massive yet, but it's definitely growing. Still, for something so early, it does really nail the core idea, which is turning flat videos into immersive 3D videos surprisingly well. And that's honestly what makes it exciting, because even in this early state, there's real potential here, and a few things that already make it worth jumping onto right now. So if you got a MetaQuest 3 or another headset, this is something you must try out. And since it doesn't rely on premium subscriptions or external gear, it's a super low barrier way to get into spatial content. Whether it's travel footage, chill landscapes or cinematic edits, watching them in 3D hits different. And that feed, it's already got gems in there and it's only going to get better as more people start using it. If you want to try Photon VR, I have linked it in the description below. It's totally free and it takes seconds to set up. And when you've loaded your first 3D video, you'll understand why I'm hyped about this. But watching 3D videos on the Quest is just the start. The Quest 3 can do way more than you expect. It can even turn into a Vision OS. That is the spatial app for you right there. I tested it and it was pretty, pretty cool. So check that video out right over here. I'll see you there.